Hi, uh, my name is Abhijit Day. Um, I run engineering some of the emerging storage products in Veritas. And uh, Ketan Hi. is one of the chief engineers in the engineering organization. So we'll talk about a feature that we are working on in OpenStack. Now this is part of a product that we are going to launch later this year from Veritas. It's known as Veritas OpenFlame. So we'll go into one of the technologies, which is one of the feature, um, which is making OpenStack server SAN aware. Now let's look at what really is meant by server SAN. So when we started in computing many years back, we worked with SAN. We worked with DAS. Then we went back to SAN. Then we are coming back to really DAS now after 20 years. The reason is SSD prices are becoming cheaper. right? Server SAN really means a software-defined storage solution for commodity servers based on direct attached storage. So SSDs, uh, PCI. The other orthogonal thing which is going on is hyperconvergence and hyperscale hyper infrastructure is really pushing the storage function. What it means is everything is about the hype about hyperconvergence. You have seen all these uh, you know, three-letter companies that are coming up with hyperconvergent solutions. right? And one of the things is a takeaway from these companies is that you know, um, storage function, the whole storage function is getting closer to the host. And we at Veritas have done this for many, many years. We have done SDS for over 20, 25 years. So we are looking at these movements. The third thing is networking is becoming really fast. If you look at Intel, what they are doing with DPDK, networking speeds are huge, robust. A lot of intelligent software is coming into DPDK. And then, of course, there is this need for commodity server SAN, which will reduce uh, with huge performance benefits, which will really move the industry to from traditional SAN and NAS. And then finally, this big providers, Amazon, Google, they're looking at, they're already deploying servers and solutions in their public cloud. So that's what we are looking at from Veritas perspective as the return of server SAN. So let me tell you, let me move to OpenStack for a second. OpenStack is an infrastructure provider, as we all know, and it provides Cinder for persistent block storage providing to the Nova virtualized machines. And it provides Manila and other files, file storage services as well. Cinder has some issues today, as we all know. Cinder is not DAS aware. Because it does not understand the meaning of flash storage, which is closed affinity, direct attached storage, it really cannot recoup some of the things that you could do if, we, if you knew what DAS is. That lack of awareness causes Cinder to not support scaling, off-hosting backups, any versioning or snapshots, and finally, live migration based on direct attached storage. There are more issues with Cinder today. One of them is quality of service. Now, OpenStack supports quality of service. The quality of service for storage it's supported in an open stack really is that application level. So you can throttle the applications to do quality of services, but if you really want to do quality of service or storage, you want to throttle at the near the storage. So Cinder does not understand some of the internal IO operations like cache warmups, <coughs> tier staging. Those are not accounted for in Cinder. So ultimately, again, if you look at some of the solutions that existing existing today, that they will talk to you about uh, throughput, KI ops. But it's not about throughput. It's about latency for this application, right? So we really have to fix latency in this hyperconvergent applications. And so latency guarantees are really impossible with Cinder today. And the last but not the least is we are moving into commodity storage. Customers are really painfully uh, we, I mean, suffering from you know, vendor lock-ins. So with that in mind, in Veritas, we have been looking at some of the solutions for a few years now. And we are looking at how about solving both. What I mean by both? SAN is good. It gives us good features. DAS is good. It gives us great performance. So what would be the perfect solution is if we can get a solution that gives DAS performance with SAN features. So obviously, we have to work with Cinder. 
What do we do to Cinder? We have to extend Cinder to support versioning and snapshots, which it's missing. We have to add a zero backup window. What does zero backup window mean? We should not have to twice the application to take a backup anytime. So the, the concept of backup window should go away. The next thing is, when you have Cinder extend to delete at a storage, you could actually think of pulling the compute dash pool into a big giant storage pool and thus get resiliency and capacity scaling. And the last is, of course, if you have dash pooling and if Cinder is aware for dash, you can do live migration on a dash environment. We're also looking at QoS. As I said, OpenStack quality of service is restricted to application level. It throttles the application I.O. What we should really be doing is throttle at the storage level. So what it means is we should provide end-to-end -end quality of storage, quality of service for the storage from the guest to the spindle. That's what it really needs to be done. And lastly, we need to use commodity storage, the SATAs of the world should be supported. That should be the ideal solution for solving the storage management and getting it to the enterprise strength storage for OpenStack. And we, Veritas, have been doing storage for a long years, and we have been looking at it and coming up with a solution. I let my engineer, Ketan, go through some of the deeper dives of what we are doing. Thanks, Abhijit. Mm -hmm. um, hi, folks. Uh, so. Uh, let's uh, let, take a look at these few problems that uh, Abhijit mentioned, and let's look at uh, what are the possible solutions there. Um, first of all, periodic snapshots. I mean, it'll be good if you know every so often uh, the uh, virtual machine volumes can be snapshotted automatically for resiliency or rapid recovery purposes. Uh, if you look at the whole uh, software-defined nature. Uh, of, of Cinder and, and OpenStack in general, then uh, you know having this scheduled through uh, flavors uh, might be a, a very good idea. Uh, snapshot these snapshots obviously have to be asynchronous so that they don't uh, you know interfere in the IO uh, IO path, um, and they have to be uh, at least storage consistent so that uh, you know when you're recovering them you are, you have a, I mean instead of putting a guest in the application. Uh, sorry, a, a, a agent in the application to quiz the IOs. Uh, if you can get at least a storage consistent snapshot, that will help in your whole uh, recovery uh, part. Now let's talk a little bit about the zero backup window. Um, as uh, Abhijit mentioned, uh, it, really for a backup, you shouldn't have to uh, you know, have uh, the application IOs quiesced or any kind, of, uh, any kind of a window where you have to shut down the application uh, for uh, for getting your backups done, even in a DAS environment, that's possible. Um, what one one possible solution there could be to tie the Cinder volume with a, a backup provider directly, and uh, use the snapshotting feature that we talked about earlier to pick up the last known uh, good snapshot and move that uh, to uh, to your backup. Right. So essentially, you have a, a zero backup window for your virtual machines. And again, this, this can be driven through flavors. You can attach these characteristics to OpenStack flavors and say, uh, this class of VM gets backed up at uh, this particular time, so on and so forth. Uh, pooling across the compute plane, I mean, this is kind of a, a must have for, uh, for a direct attached storage. You need to stitch uh, the uh, storage that you have together in some sort of a pool to uh, you know, have uh, resiliency. Uh, recovery, uh, all those characteristics. Um, you also need that for live migration, so to support live migration in a direct attached storage environment. Uh, and it also gives you the kind of scale, the hyperscale uh, storage that is expected uh, from uh, a typical uh, converged uh, compute plane. Now, uh, live migration, we have an up upcoming session tomorrow. Uh, in this same room, um, so I would encourage you to uh, attend that. But um, really, it's as simple as uh, basically extending the Nova and uh, the Cinder implementations 
to uh, orchestrate this live migration for us in a shared nothing direct attached uh, uh, storage environment. And as far as uh, qu quality of service is concerned, um, when you when you say you you are enforcing it to uh, from the guest to the spindle, you should be able to at least uh, you know guarantee miniops. Uh, and when you say uh, uh, you're guaranteeing MinIOPS, you have to be able to fairly distribute the, uh, the available IOPS across uh, all the VMs on a, on a given compute. And that's where the, uh, the, uh, the affinity to the storage gives you a better clarity of how you can uh, do this based on the characteristics of the storage that you have. Um, you have this concept of a noisy neighbor, which where a rogue, rogue VM just goes crazy and starts hogging up all the uh, available uh, storage IOPS. Uh, those those can also be throttled. Um, and since again uh, we are at we are closer to the spindle, uh, it allows us to do some kind of, some kind of a predictive throttling, anticipating what uh, what the IO depths are uh, for a particular for a particular given device uh, device class, and then adjusting the throttling based on that. Um, and this also gives us the ability to do uh, latency-based uh, guarantees. So uh, with that, I'll hand uh, the control back to uh, Abhijit. Thanks, Ketan. So as you saw, again, this is a 15-minute, not a deep dive, deep dive, but we have a lot of solutions we can talk talk with you. So so we said, you know, this is, this is OpenStack today. And to our analysis, it really needs um, QoS, as I said, from, as Ketan described, from guest to spindle, quality of service. It needs to deliver enterprise-grade performance on DAS, on the compute. And of course, scalability uh, for thousands of computes, hyperscale compute for OpenStack, powered private cloud, and do robustness, resilient activities, live migration, backup, and stuff like that, right? So introducing. OpenFlame from all of us here in Veritas. There's a lot of Veritas folks. OpenFlame is a project. We are uh, working on it for a number of years now. Uh, it solves all these problems for OpenStack that I just described. Um, QoS, end-to-end -end quality of service, enterprise grade performance, thousands of computes, live migration, resilient, full hyperscale compute for your enterprise grade OpenStack-based private cloud. Um, it's a software-defined storage solution. It runs from Horizon. It uses the templates that Horizon provides. Um, it's completely purposely built for OpenStack and KVM. We have a lot of sessions, three more sessions tomorrow on OpenFlame, if you're interested in this room, uh, so you can find us. And um, please visit our demo booth also, C29, who are demoing OpenFlame. And um, we can, with the engineering team and product management, all of us there, we can help you understand if you're interested. Thank you. Thanks.